Singapore has regained gold in both the table tennis singles events. Cheng Jian and Isaac Quack took top spots on the podium. Aslam Sharp has more. Taking the SEA Games by storm, Isaac Quack is making his debut. He's only 16 but now has three gold medals to take home. The men's singles to add to the men's team and doubles. 68th in the world, he's also Singapore's highest ranked men's singles player. Impressively, Quack defeated Vietnam's Nguyen An Tu in straight games. I was telling myself to play my best and not have any pressure on myself. And yeah, here yeah, I'm uh, winning three gold medals and I'm really happy. And also, uh, yeah, to be the youngest ever uh, SEA Games winner, I've already achieved so much this year. So yeah, I have no pressure in, in the next few competitions like Asian Games. And of course, there are other competitions really important. So yeah, I'll just slowly work on that. Quack's victory means Singapore has restored some measure of glory. No Singaporeans in the final at the last games. Before that, they won seven of the previous eight titles. It was also redemption in the women's singles. The team had won 12 of the 14 women's singles titles before Thailand swept the top two spots in Hanoi. In this year's final, Teng Tian reclaims goal, but only after suffering a major scare against Thailand. She somehow threw away a three-game lead, and in the deciding seventh, a narrow 11-9 victory. Singapore takes home four gold medals from Phnom Penh, twice that from the previous games.